What's up, family? So, I was hoping to do a who's spying. We ain't doing one of these in a while on the channel. So, I'm going to run down a little series of these. Y'all know how I do these who's spying. Uh, and then I'll do another two or three. I don't know. But so, drop some comments down below what you want. I'm going to do who's spying here and to give you an idea. If y'all have any ideas, drop them in the comments. Anyways, it's a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as your ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, these are general messages. Just take what resonates. Bless someone else with the rest, okay? I am only human. I am just the vessel. Um, so, you know, let's just see. Let's roll with it. Spirit, who is spying on Sagittarius? Guys, while we're waiting on this person to pop out, we are currently doing specials. This is a question that you can, um, this is something that you can ask in a 20 minute session that we are currently offering for $20 or you can get the whole 40 minutes for $30. Um, but, uh, so yeah, let's see where we go. We got a queen of cups. So this could be a Gemini and or a cancer that is spying on you. Ooh, this could be somebody that's just got a whole lot of love for you could be an earth sign they could have earth sign under underneath the inside doesn't necessarily have to be that they could love with an earth perspective meaning this person's venus could be in um cap uh, capricorn taurus or virgo doesn't necessarily have to be um, but whoever this is that is spying on you they do have emotions for you and they are contemplating making some sort of emotional offer i don't feel like that you would be able to tell that they have the desire to make an emotional offer because this person is presenting themselves as guarded which is letting me know that the two of you all got some beef going on <laughs> absolutely absolutely got some beef going on and they don't know if you're going to reject our offer <laughs> who is this queen of cups i mean show me the intentions of this queen of cups oof i don't like it this queen of cups is triggered mm. the intentions is triggered so this person desires to trigger you. This person wants to talk about some things that um, could potentially cause you to think of throw them bows. You know what I'm saying? But I want you to know this. Um, whatever their intentions are, if you stay in your lane, you don't really have too much to worry about. I do feel like that if you listen to your body and address your unhealed energies inside you will in, you will intuitively be able to pick up on this right and therefore you'll be able to protect yourself from it even if you can't intuitively hear it this message here this message here on this podcast on this influencer platform will be able to help you put your guards up to keep that fuck shit away <laughs> Who's, who's this? What's going on here, Spirit? Guys, if this sounds familiar, if this sounds like someone you know, um, they definitely could be sending some sort of message. Um, and you want to find more out about this, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. It does help push, push these messages out into the YouTube algorithm. It encourages me that you like these kind of readings. Um, like I said, they did fall off for a little while because they kind of lost traction. So if you like to see these more consistently <laughs> give the thumbs up down below give me just a second guys we got the let me we got the emperor we have divine masculine energy i was at the bottom of the deck king of swords in the reverse we'll be right back we'll talk about it i don't know while i was going to go get a water i heard that this person could have a cancer moon and I feel like that this person has an earth sign Venus because I feel like that this person loves from a practical perspective. Um, mm -hmm. But the Queen of Cups, it is Cancer um, as far as water signs. It focuses more on Cancer, and uh, but it's Cancer in Gemini. It's that Cancer Gemini Cusper energy. 
I don't even like cold water, but my children put all the waters in the refrigerator yesterday, helping me clean up the kitchen. And honey, that cold water is hitting this morning. Okay, but this person, we got Aries on the board now with Emperor. <clears throat> I do feel like that this person wants to assert themselves in some type of leadership. Like, they want to... I don't know, this person is definitely going to be taking some action towards you. Here's my thing, though. This person is a little irrational and possibly a tad bit manipulative. Like, if this person has any bit of authority, which with the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the King of Swords, this person is known to abuse their position of power. So, even if they don't have a powerful position in the world, <laughs> if you give this person a position of power in your life, oh, they will manipulate that and use that to their advantage. So, for this to come out here, for this right off the deck, um... You know, that's how you would know who this is. Show me more on the Emperor for why Sag would know this is who this is. <laughs> Two of Wands. Um, this, uh, this person does desire some sort of change here, okay? Whoever this energy is... We have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't like that, especially with this person's intentions to trigger. So here's the thing. This person is going to come in. This person that is spying. This is someone that is known to present opportunities to you that with the, like this person's in like they present opportunities to you with the intention of they know that they are going to trigger you with these opportunities. The, the, the opportunities are not real. They're a facade. This is someone that is spying on you. This is someone that makes it seem like <laughs> they have the desire for change, but they really, it says conflict leaves you feeling defeated. And that's what's at the bottom of the deck for this here. So it's like this person comes to like, oh, I want to make things better. I want to... Here's a new opportunity. Let's go in a different direction. But this person doesn't come to the table with changed behaviors. You know what I'm saying? This person really does come to the table with tension here. Okay. What do they want? What the hell do they want with Sagittarius? So what do they want right now with Sagittarius? What do they want from Sagittarius in this moment? What do they want? The High Priestess, let your intuition tell you. So this is something that you already intuitively know. I don't like that this card says enlightenment on it because it's like this person is come like they want to know. They feel like that, that they are not in on your life right now. So they want to come in and uncover. Yeah, like they want to. Yeah, they want to see. I don't like this person. Mm -mm. You have to listen to your intuition when it comes to this person, okay? Because I do feel like that this person wants to uncover, like, they want to see, like, what what's going on in your life? It can't really be all good, Sag. What's really going on? It says instability and un unexpected change. That's what they want. They want, enlight they want enlightenment. They want to... You have to use your discernment. Intuitively, I feel like that you know that this person wants conflict. Show me more. Why is the High Priestess here? Judgment in the reverse. It's, it's like this person is not going to be telling you the truth. Okay. This person, yes, gossip, grudges, rumors, dishonesty. This person is wanting to shit like they're wanting to put a light. They're <clears throat> they're trying to uncover dirt on you, Sag. I do have, like I said, I feel like this person has a Cancer Gemini Moon. 
I feel like that this is someone that who you would know this person as is they do have there is this emotion there but it's almost like their emotions trigger you or like their their emotions for you trigger them that's what i was trying to say How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? What is this person's true feelings? Go tell me to shuffle. See, there goes the chariot card. I feel, I feel cancer strongly. That was the Knight of Swords. I seen it at the bottom of the deck in the reverse on the floor. It's kind of in the like sideways position. Um, changers are rushing like this person is coming in but it, it's like it's like they like they come in and they really do want to take advantage of an opportunity but like something is like a near miss it's like I got ooh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I got it. I got it. Eee, I got scared at the last minute. That's, that's the energy that this person is giving me. How does this person truly feel as it pertains to Sag? Thank you, Spirit. The death card. This could be a Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be. We've got Aries in them with judgment here. Um, I'm almost positive judgment is Scorpio too. But since y'all won't call me out on my uh let me not do that. I'm gonna be the bigger person. Give me a second. Yes, Pluto energy. So this could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, it could be an Aries, it could be a Cancer Gemini, as well as Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Like I said, I feel like it is Capricorn Taurus Virgo Venus. The reason I feel like that is Capricorn Taurus Venus is because this person is not really emotionally stable. However, they love from a practical sense. Okay, I feel like that there is a like practical sense here as far as their love. But okay, anyways, their feelings towards Sagittarius is that end of end of the old and start of the new. This person is definitely wanting some type of new beginning. This person's feelings is as if there's been some sort of transformative ending here between the two of you all. This person desires to put an end to the instability. They, they do want to stabilize something out here. However, here's my problem with this person. Like I said, I feel like the, their feelings for you trigger them. Time out. If this is y'all story, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, okay? Because... They, your person got your girl working. Um, but this person's feelings for you triggers them. And because it triggers them, they do shit that triggers you. Right? So this person does desire to put an end to the instability. They desire some sort of stability with you, Sagittarius. Here's the thing. Here's what I don't like about your person. In order for this person to feel like they can offer you this, what they truly desire, they want to find out your weakness first. It's like they got to know your weakness. That's scary because that for me, especially when it came out with the Emperor and the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this is someone that plays and manipulates on their position of power. So for them to be seeking out your weakness in order to try to stabilize things, that's concerning to me. Cause like, hey, why you gotta, why you gotta know my weaknesses to tell me that you really want something with me? Show me more about this new beginning. What's, show me, what, show me the death card for this person's feelings. Show me more. The eight of cups and the yeah, this person. 
the desire to leave something behind. What is the something? The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. What is the definition of the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? This card, it says instability and unexpected change. So this person wants to walk away. That's what I said. This person wants to, I'm telling you, I don't be doubting my intuition, but I know y'all do. And that's why Spirit sometimes be telling me to use the cards with the keywords on them. But anyways, this this person, their feelings towards you, their true feelings is that they desire for a trans. They do desire a transformative end. They do want to step into a leader. They want an, a, a position of leadership in your life. They want an authoritative position in your life, Sagittarius. Okay, and. They feel like that if they take this authoritative position in your life, then they can put an end to the instability and stabilize this out, okay, where things have been rocky. However, this person seems like either they want to know some, in, like they want to know Where things are not good. Like they want to know where you're falling short at in your life. I do feel like that. I do feel like that. They want to get to know you. Their intentions is to know some your secrets. Okay. Um, and with the judgment in the reverse being here. I feel like that this is um, like they're going to do this. Like they're, they're not going to be honest in the way that they go about you open getting you to open up okay i don't like this so instead of me keep on saying i don't like this yes he's five of clubs oh i don't like this so um they do want to <sighs> they want to leave behind the things that you that y'all are still holding on to the past let, what is what is the advice for Sagittarius when it comes to this shenanigans? What is the advice here? What is Sagittarius's advice? We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Babbit, stop holding on to this. This isn't something that yeah, failure to recognize. Uh, this is a mischance. This, this, like this, the, the Knight of Swords in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. It says mischance. This, this is not, if you put your trust in this, it would be misplaced. It doesn't need to be skeptical of this person. And I agree. Can you show me more on the advice? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a need to be sensible right here. Be practical about this like there's a need to really take a practical approach to this situation um i, I really i really want to tell you to put this shit down is what i want to tell you What is the universe? What is the universe's lesson, purpose, intention for this connection here? The Ten of Swords in the reverse to get you to to like the the universe is, is to learn from the past. The universe's intentions and lesson out of this is to learn from the past. Don't continue to make the same mistakes that you've made in the past with other people or with this person. Meaning if you've taken this person back in the past, don't continue to take this person back. If you haven't taken this person back in the past, um, but you have taken other past people back, look at those past situations. How did they play out? And what lessons and what perspectives can you shift in order to heal, in order to elevate so that you can get the view from up above so that you can make a better decision and like don't just jump in and make a decision. This needs some evaluating, but in order to do the evaluating that this situation needs, you must be willing to learn from past situations and you must heal past traumas. 
the, they, the universe does want you and this person to work through some past differences that you all have. Spirit wants you all, there is some sort of unconventional um, route that needs to be taken um, because unfortunately, I feel like that the two of you all dealing with one another, your emotions seem to overtake the situation and it overrides rationality. Give me just one second, guys. All right, Sagittarius, let's go on and start wrapping this message up for who is spying on Sag. Um, let's get a Cupid arrow message, Spirit, for Sagittarius to start closing this out. Thank you. It says passion. Um, don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. We also have balance. You're juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. As well as energy activation. Connect to the divine through prayer and meditation. So I do feel like that there is a need to really get yourself grounded. Um, some type of energy is trying to be activated. There are some emotional baggages that you and this person have that spirit wants you to walk away from. Um, and, 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 you know, and you may have to go at this, have a passionate conversation with this person. And things may not work out that first go around. But make sure that you don't allow the emotions to get so dramatic that it closes out the opportunity for an, uh, another time to close, to walk away from the emotional baggage of the past so that you can have a healthier future with this person, even if your paths don't overlap, so that you can coexist. Okay. Archangel Michael, last words, please. Close this out. Archangel Michael, can you please close this out for Sagittarius? Thank you. Welcome abundance into your life, Sagittarius. I think that this right here is saying that there's a there's this is some this is something that really can take the back seat. Your finances is a greater focus with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here, and the advice for the universe. This is also saying balancing out your checkbook, really focusing on uh, your practical world, balancing out your home life and your work life. Uh, that's something about where your focus needs to be about your pentacle world. And um, I, I do feel that here with Archangel Michael saying, welcome abundance into your life because prosperity is on its way to you. And spirit is asking you to have faith in this and to be willing to put the work in um, so that uh, because your financial challenges are in the process of being healed. Okay. Exactly. Put your creative energy into action. You're being asked to really shift your focus away from this energy. You are already intuitively know everything that you need to know about this person that's spying on you. So you can shift your energetic focus somewhere else because you already know. And if you focus your attention somewhere else, it actually gives you the gems that you need to prepare for when this actually gets the boss to just stop spying and actually approach. Okay. And yeah, it's there. It's almost over. Whatever it is that whatever challenges that you're currently facing, they will soon be resolved. And I do feel like that that is in this person approach. Uh, this person approaching. But right now, just shift your focus, okay? All right, Sagittarius. I absolutely love you, and I hope that this message offered you the guidance that you were seeking. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say, and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace, love, and light, guys.